Oh, we should probably put deodorant on. Eek. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and changed. It's actually, um, my parents are actually in town right now, <sighs> but they went out and went to the farmer's market and I was like, listen, I need to wash my hair. And I have been so overwhelmed <laughs> because they're staying at my house. And you guys know this isn't a very big house. This is like a little town home that I live in and having so many people in this house all in one, at one go is like a lot for me right now. <laughs> anyway, so I hate that you could see my camera there, but whatever. I'm gonna go to the hair salon. Sherry is gonna put hair extensions in my hair. If you guys are familiar, if you are local in San Diego, you probably know this salon because it's a pretty poppin' salon. I feel, feel like they have like, um, they're pretty like well-known. They're in La Jolla, they're called Belle Serene, I think is what it's called. If you love balayage and like are very into that like SoCal like balayage look, this salon is like the mecca of balayage. Like they do all of that. Like just they're so good at it. And I see some like amazing blondes that they do, which I, I don't experiment with color. You guys know this. So nothing exciting for me. But as you all know, I've been wanting to live up my long hair days again i've just been having a hard time i've been very optimistic about you know having shorter hair but i just feel better with longer hair i'm not getting like super super long hair um we are doing like these um beaded extensions which i prefer i really don't like the look of the hand tied um extensions those look too brat dolly for me i mean it looks good on other people but i just think for my proportion and this look I go for. I just don't want like a shit ton of hair. Did not feel good about it. My parents are back already. Why are you on my bed? You're on my vlog. Okay, so I just did my hair um i put on a sweater because it's a little breezy today but i always feel like down in la jolla it gets chillier because we're by the water i don't know but i did my makeup i don't know about you guys but whenever i get my like makeup done or sorry my makeup done whenever i go and like get my hair done i always have to have my makeup done i feel like in order to get the whole vibe when the makeup's done, like I just want to see what it's lo what it looks like when I'm like all done up. You know what I mean? Like that's how I can sense if I really like something. Kind of like when I used to go shopping in person at like the malls and stuff, I would always have to like have my makeup on and my hair nice. Otherwise, like I can't envision me feeling the clothes. You know? I'm excited to get my hair done. I'm so excited! I've literally been thinking about this for a while now. I'm a little nervous because. I'm just like such a control freak even though like I don't even know how to apply ex like these hair extensions in my head I still like know I'm gonna be just like OCD about it in my head I don't know bringing my book and my laptop because I think I'm gonna be there for like two and a half hours I figured might as well get some work done while we're at it I also got these disposable masks at Costco I didn't realize they had black ones and I was like this is so much chicer than like the blue and white ones so I'm gonna wear these and for some reason I feel like I can breathe a little better in these ones than like the cloth ones. So I really like these. So my blush I used the duo from Patrick Ta as usual. It's, it's either this or one other product that I ever put on my cheeks. She's so LA. This is a really good one. It's the cream and powder one. And then um, under my eyes I used the Pat McGrath Pat McGrath medium under eye, brightening under eye powder. So look at like that. Isn't that pretty? So I just like, kind of use that underneath to like brighten like right around here. But I feel like this isn't really blended. So I kind of want to like blend that out. I just don't know what to use. So my sweatshirt is from, or sorry, my sweater is from Princess Polly. I like the um, 
style of this. It's so cute. And then I have these high-waisted pants from, I think these are from like forever or something. I've had them for literally forever. And then my Louis Vuitton sandals. I like to just kind of tuck this in. And I also have a tank top in underneath in case I get too hot. I can take this off and just wear my tank. And then um, I cleaned, like washed and cleaned my hair. Um, because she wants me to have zero product, just like shampoo, clean hair. Um, no conditioner even in the hair either, so. guys so i just got home um i had to stop at in and out on the way home because i got so hungry in the chair and i was like it's time for me to eat so i stopped at in and out just to get something really quick which by the way did not it was not quick at all it took me like 30 minutes just to like sit in that line but then again it's a saturday yada 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 so i am going to be touching my hair because as you know um sherry just like killed it she did such a good job i am obsessed with my hair you guys like i i like i literally can't like can we just talk about it right now like it's so pretty i have length um she did tell me that my next the next time i wash my hair um my first wash with the extensions you get to really like feel the quality of the extensions because right now they've been um pressed and like shoved into like you know packaging to like get to the store so um 
they are a little piecey right now but she said like as you wash them and you know just play with them they start to look stunning so i'm very excited um i'm happy that i took you guys along with me and that you guys wanted to see this is very bright is that better i'm so excited that you guys wanted to see that whole process because i had so much fun filming it i feel like i didn't get to talk to you guys about the process and like while I was getting ready because my family came home and it was just like so loud again. So she did order the hair for me. I don't know the name of the hair, but I will um, email her. I will message her just to find out like the hair that we purchased. Um, and then she did apply them. As you could see, like I showed you in the video, everything's done through like a bonded bead. Uh, let me try to show you like right here, as you can see that beat with like little tiny like extension pieces that like eventually came out to this so, by the way none of this is sponsored i feel like people will think that this is a sponsored video but it's not i paid for all of this um i just like felt like this would be really great for you guys to see and you know i've kind of been like deciding whether or not i wanted to get extensions for a while because i've just been like so over my like short hair i had two consultations one with her she was my last consultation and the one with the previous girl which i feel like i touched on she just like was not the right one and i was telling her this too i said i really like want to make sure that i'm giving my money to somebody that i like like i feel like it's very important like to consult like don't just go to somebody that you've seen reviews about because that's what i did and i went and met up with her and she like was not very welcoming but sherry was like the complete opposite like she has a very successful salon but at the end of the day like she it doesn't matter she treats everybody like she treated me so well like from day one she was just like welcome in like how are you like just had really great energy and i'm not gonna be sitting in, in a chair for three hours and it's gonna be like awkward you know so um and plus like at least pretend to like me you know like the other girl that i consulted with she didn't really seem to like she didn't really seem to like me so i just was like well i'm not gonna go for you and one of the things i really did not want when i had my consultation i told her that i did not want that big hair so some people have hand tied wefts and it's cute for some people and it, it looks good you know whoever do your thing like i don't want anyone out there to be offended if you do have hand tight extensions i just think personally for me when i've seen other people with it it's just too much hair it's like a mane of hair and it just doesn't look realistic and i don't know i just i i personally don't like it i'm really glad we went for this style and from what i told her i wanted she was like this is the, like the more natural route we went for this one and um it did take like i would say like two and a half hours three hours i i can't remember how long it took but just like such a pleasant experience i did pick up the orbe split end seal i have never used this but when i like touched the product and put it in my hair i loved it so much so it's basically like a serum for your hair not a hair oil but like a product to help mend split ends and then um this one is the orbe oh this is the orbe perfume this smells so good i was spraying this all over me so yeah i don't really know what else to touch on if you guys have questions about this video or like the whole process or anything like that you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below i always love chatting with you guys in the comments but i feel like that's like pretty much it i don't really know what else to talk about i hope you enjoyed today's video thanks for coming along with me and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye